Well, there's no doubt the pandemic has been hard on all of us, but the challenge has been even greater on those in the deaf and hard of hearing community with their ability to simply communicate. Here's how local advocates say we all can help to make things a little easier. The hustle and bustle. We're used to it at grocery stores. But for Roya Blegg, who works at Trader Joe's, that's more like what he hears. A Blegg who was born deaf is also a community outreach advocate at the nonprofit organization Be Glad, which offers resources to the deaf and hard of hearing community here in Kern County. He tells me the pandemic has been particularly hard on people like him because the silence they normally deal with when communicating has only been muffled by face masks. Deaf people, we, we use hand gestures, facial expressions, it's a visual language, and so we really rely heavily on facial expressions. So when the face is covered, it's really hard for us to get the full information. According to data by the 2019 Annual Disability Statistics Compendium, it's estimated that approximately 27,000 people have hearing loss in Kern County. That's about 3% of the population, a similar trend seen across California as a whole. While those in the hard of hearing community wear clear face shields and masks in order to communicate with each other, what they're really pushing for right now is for other non-deaf community members to wear them as well. Bakersfield resident Patricia Mosley says clear face shields and masks will have a greater impact than people realize. Her grandmother was deaf and so was her mother. It was passed down to Mosley, who then passed it on to her son, making him a fourth generation deaf person. The area she sees clear masks being really effective is at the doctor's office. She tells me they often pull their mask down in order to speak, but are running the risk of infecting the patient by doing that. Maybe just having it on standby in case you have a deaf person come into the store or come into the doctor's office or something. It'd be nice just to have it on standby. In a Blegg's view, it's going to drive through windows at fast food restaurants that's been the biggest struggle. You know, I can type in what I want to say and they can read it, but they can't reply, you know, using my phone. And so um, it's, it creates a little bit of attention because they cannot pull their mask down for a minute because of their own policies. There is a local business working to alleviate that gap right here in Bakersfield called the Invisible Mask. They say it was designed for the deaf and hard of hearing community as well as those in the service industry. We made them so that we can socially connect. If you're a professional, a teacher, um, you know, someone dealing with the public, um, this is the way to go. Something Ablag and Mosley also agree is the way to go. So we can make sure the statement, we're all in this together, really can hold true. Well, with keeping the deaf and hard of hearing community in mind while also staying safe, we wanted to get the health department's input on the use of face shields. Public Health says to follow guidance from the CDC, which states face shields do not replace face coverings. However, they are options for those with a disability or a medical condition. If someone matches that criteria, it needs to be a hooded face shield that curves around the face. As for cloth face coverings with a clear plastic cutout around the mouth, Public Health says that's fair game for everyone. If it's being accomplished that those droplets are being contained and they are not, uh, you know, while you're talking or sneezing, going out, you know, that's the whole point. So if it's sealed properly, uh, that is certainly going to be an alternative. The cloth face coverings ultimately are what the CDC recommends for most people, and face shields should not be used in place of them. Deaf and hard of hearing community members do classify as having a medical exemption. So again, I just want to show everyone, I have it here with me. Yeah. Uh, this is the face mask that has a clear cutout. This one uh, is still suitable to wear, and actually, People outside of the deaf and hard of hearing community love this too because they say it's nice to see a smile. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you you wear this time. a lot around here, and uh, it's you're the only one that we can understand. <laughs> uh, Is there a story you think we should investigate? Call our Eyewitness News tip line at eight six nine twenty nine twenty nine.